Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be featuring a team with a Pokemon that I'm really excited about. It's none other than Armor Rouge. Uh, so this Pokemon is really, really strong. It was definitely designed with VGC in mind, and I'll get into that a little bit further. Uh, just a disclaimer, there are two different teams. Uh, the only difference being the Brute Bonnet for a more offensive version of the team. And then we have the Amoongus version, right? Amoonga is more defensive, um, but this is definitely more aggressive and more offensive with close combat, sucker punch. Let me show you the team. Um, so this is the rental team for the more aggressive version of the team. Um, so Armor Rouge is really cool because it has weak armor and it also uh, can hold a weakness policy. And next to Mimic you, you can side Shadow Sneak, uh, activate weakness policy for a plus two in speed and a plus two in special attack and then get off a huge uh, heat wave and just, uh, you know, really start doing lots and lots of damage right up front. Um, it can catch some people off guard. Um, you can also, you know, do follow me with uh, Ndidi and then set up Trick Room and then clean up the game with Torkoal. You can also go with Torkoal and Roaring Moon. Um, Roaring Moon is set up for a speed protosynthesis. Um, so it will activate um, and then you can uh, either a dragon dance or tailwind and then Terra dragon and scale shot with the loaded dice do tons and tons of damage uh, Brute bonnet also uh, works really really well with the Sun uh, You have sucker punch dark Terra type for you know nuking stuff before they can even move um, You can close combat blow up stuff that are really uh, a problem for armor rouge and uh, Torkoal maybe stuff like Tyranitar right that comes to mind um, so yeah, you got a lot of versions, uh, a lot of modes. You have a fast mode, you have a trick room mode, uh, you have an instant offensive mode, and then the other team is going to be a version without Brute Bonnet. I like the Brute Bonnet version a little bit more, um, but I also did want to make a more, um, you know, control style gameplay. Uh, so Amoongus, you know, your traditional Spore, Clear Smog uh, for Dundozo. Uh, rage powder for redirecting moves. Um, you have the regenerator and the focus sash for survivability and then uh, Just energy ball for damage. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into some matches. All right, here we go. And there is the Farigaraf, okay This looks really good for armor rouge and DD or even I'm not sure how Farigaraf's ability works because will it stop well, let's stop priority moves. That barking is distracting me. I don't know what that is uh, in the game. Uh, I don't know if it's going to block the Mimic use um, or stop it from going off the Shadow Sneak. So I think I'll just go for the safe play with Ndidi. And then we can bring Brubonnet and Torkoal to clean up, right? Yeah, I think it's maybe like a Pokemon in the overworld that's barking at me. <laughs> that's funny. All right, here we go. Obama Snow for Rigoraf. So, most likely Imprison Trick Room, right? So, what we can do here, we can just go straight into offense, right? They are likely gonna try to stop Trick Room with Imprison. Should I even Terrastalize here, honestly? I'm going to Psychic into the Obama Snow, uh, though it might actually just protect, right? Do we just Terrastalize? I think we just Terrastalize, guys. Heat Wave Helping Hand just to try to knock out the Farigaraf, right? Because I have a feeling he's protecting with Obama Snow and either going for a Trick Room, which if... Honestly, if he does, we have Torkoal in the back, so I'm not too worried about it, but... If him going on the defensive here and allows us to get a, a quick knockout on the Frigraf, then that's really big, you know? Ooh, what's it terrestrializing into? Water? It is water. Interesting. I wonder if he's going to activate my weakness policy, though. Heat wave misses on the Obama Snow. Okay. 
Weakness policy activates. In prison. There it is. Okay. So now Armourouge has that special attack. And now we can expanding force and helping hand, right? I wonder if it has Ice Shard. Though, actually, I'm not too concerned because we have Psychic Terrain, so... This is the most anti-priority move game I've ever seen. We have the Iron Tail from Farigraph and the Indeedy Psychic Terrain, right? Huge expanding force. Okay, double knockout. Let's go. That's the power of Armoru. And now we can actually set up Trick Room. Honestly, I could just follow me and Heat Wave, and that should be GG, actually. No, realistically, let me see. If I remove the Scizor, I could just win off of that, right? I'm going to go for the Heat Wave just to get damage on Ting Lu as well on the way out, probably. And we're going to go for a follow me here for the Bullet Punch. Oh, actually, we're not worried about the Bullet Punch, and we're faster. Do we just Helping Hand? I'm just going to follow me regardless, just in case it's a fast scissor, and they just forfeit. GG's. So that's the offensive team. I am going to show you guys some games with the Amoongus variant, but yeah, that's the power of Armourouge, guys. Weakness policy. Uh, it's got some bulk to it. It's got middling speed that allows it to work in Trick Room and allows it to work in Tailwind as well. So it's got a fast and slow mode. So this Pokemon's really, really strong. It's got speed control, it's got uh, support moves like Wide Guard and Ally Switch. Maybe not Wide Guard, I might be wrong, correct me in the comment section. But let's go ahead and switch over to the next team. Okay. Alright guys, and we got our match with the defensive version of the team. And uh, Hard Trick Room, okay. Which also seems to have a Parish Trap mode with Gothitelle and Fluttermain. So, a little scary. Um, what can we do here? We can go Hard Offense. We can do the the side mimic uh, the side fake out thing with uh, mimic you. Um, though it's a little bit of a problem because actually, Gothitel can fake out Armor Rouge, so it'll it would definitely be a problem. And if that happens under Trick Room, then we're in trouble. Mm, wishing I had Brood Bonnet here, honestly. <laughs> um. Let's see, what do we do, what do we do? Hmm. Could also go the fast mode, but it's not actually really good into Fluttermane or Grimmsnarl. I do I do see the, the um, Iron Hands coming in here. We could just go like this and then, um, so we'll go follow me Trick Room and then we'll bring Torkoal in the back and uh, we'll bring Mimikyu as well. Just for the fairy damage on the Grimmsnarl, and then the ghost damage on, and then also on the Iron Hands fairy damage, and then ghost damage on the Gothitelle as well. Alright. Alright, here we go. There it is. Gothitelle, Iron Hands lead, as expected. So, fake out Trick Room. Honestly. They can't fake out because we have um, Psychic Terrain, right? So we can just fire off Expanding Force Helping Hand. That should be really, really big damage. And if Trick Room does go up, I mean, we have Torkoal in the back. So really, what are we worried about, you know? And we one-shot the Iron Hands. Holy. Trick 
Trick Room goes up. Excellent. Is that room service? No, leftovers, okay. That should be Torkoal, right? Okay. I don't think Torkoal KOs us, honestly. So I could Expanding Force here, again, Helping Hand. You know what, I'll go for a Psychic, um, because indeed he does have the special defense boost, so even if, um, for whatever reason, maybe they get a crit on Armor Rouge and KO it, I can still get off a big Psychic boosted by Psychic Terrain. And it's Terrastalizing. Yeah, so Terrastalization of Torkoal in the Sun is going to be a lot of damage up front. I haven't seen what this can do, so I am being a little cautious by using two different attacks. Helping hand to <laughs> Christ. Okay, let's see it. Full power, Torkoal. Okay, indeed he survived, so this is huge. Definitely made the right play there. Huge. So now our Torkoal can come in and just really clean things up. I could even um, follow me, reverse the trick room. Hmm. We haven't terra either. Yeah, I'm down to just go for Torkoal and go for Earth Power. And follow me. Because he could also be going for Earth Power into my Torkoal, right? Yeah. Okay. Helping hand again. Eruption. Could be going for an Earth Power, though. I could see it. Eruption again. Half health to Torkoal already. Jeez. Unfortunately, we lose the speed tie there. But this Earth Power should... And <laughs> Torkoal goes invisible. It's funny. That side eye from the Torkoal, that was funny. <laughs> Alright. And now we can spam Heat Wave. We should be the slowest thing on the field. Exactly, perfect. We do have the room service on Mimikyu, so that should even make us slower. We can terrestrialize. Honestly, we could even just terrestrialize Eruption just to get solid damage, but at the same time, we're at half health, right? Is it just better? If I miss Heat Wave here, it, it could be game ending, right? So I'll just go for the Eruption, the sure damage. I'll go for the Play Rough into the Gothitel. Amoongus protects. Huge damage. Critical hit, actually. Foul play. That does no damage. Play rough connects, and that should be game. How much turns of Trick Room left? One. They did burn their Protect already, so that should be GG's. Wait, is um Psychic Terrain still up? Yes, it is. Is this the last turn? Okay. Fortunately, I'm gonna have to go for a Play Rough here. And they forfeit. GG's.
So yeah, that's uh, the power of the defensive one. A little bit more controlled. Unfortunately, we didn't get to bring Amoongus to really show the regenerator and the, the power of Amoongus. But we've all seen it, right? We've already known what Amoongus can do. But Brute Bonnet is definitely a scary Pokemon in the sun for sure. So anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. I am really like... Um, overwhelmed with the support that I've gotten over the last video that kind of blew up so thank you so much guys um, I do appreciate it and if you're enjoying the content make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe for more uh, VGC battles that I'll be bringing more rental teams and all that good stuff thank you so much for all the support and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace